Hello everyone, my name is Harish Kumar and welcome to our channel. Today in this lesson we are going to install PHP MyAdmin. This is the fifth part of the series setting up web development environment in Ubuntu system. If you are watching this video, I assume you have installed the Nginx, MySQL and PHP in your system. If you have not installed that, I recommend you to install that first. And I also recommend you to watch previous video of this series that is on installing Valet on your system. Valet is a web development environment that is created by the Laravel community and it manages Nginx, MySQL, PHP and other tools. I usually don't use PHP my admin. Instead of this, I use table plus. I'm creating this video because I have got lots of requests on installing PHP my admin on Nginx server. So first I will show you how to install PHP my admin. After that, I will show you table plus as well. And a quick reminder, if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. So when I upload new videos, you get notified. So let's start installing PHP my admin. So our first step is to download PHP my admin from this link. This is the official PHP my admin website. So let's open this in the new tab. The current table version of PHP my admin is this one 5.0.4. I usually recommend to install latest version, but in my system, I have installed the PHP version 8 and this version is not compatible with the PHP 8. So I'm going to download this 5.1.0 RC version. It is not stable version, but in this version, it has fixed the issues related to PHP 8. So right click and copy link address and in the terminal I am going to download this using wget command and it's downloaded now. Now if you see the list here is the downloaded php my admin zip file. Now I am going to unzip and here we have php my admin folder. Now let's see our next step. So here we have downloaded the PHP my admin and we have unzipped that. Next we are going to move this in the word www html php my admin. So mv php my admin folder and move that into the word www html php my admin and press enter. And we cannot move that permission denied. So here I will give all right permission to this directory. So let's run sudo chmod hyphen r777 slash var ww html. Enter password and is done. Now here remember that I am giving the all permission in my local machine, but never do this on your production server. Of course, because of security reasons. Next, we are going to move the PHP my admin in the var ww html php my admin directory. Now, if we go to cd var ww html php my admin, and, and here is the old files related to php my admin source code. Next, we need to update the ownership for this php my admin directory to add support for nginx web server. So, let's copy this and run that in the terminal is done our next step is php my admin configurations we are already in the php my admin directory next we need to rename the sample configuration file so let's copy this command and run this in the terminal again permission denied so let's give the all 77 permission to html directory again now rename the configuration file Next, we need to open this configuration file and update this configuration. So let's open this and we need to search for this configuration. In the VI editor, if you want to search something from your keyboard, press the slash key and type the keyword you want to search. Now here I will search host and we were looking for this configuration and it is already local host. So we no need any change. So let's quit this. 
now let's see the next configuration and next we need to create temp directory in the php admin directory so let's copy this command and run this in the terminal now we need to add this configuration in the config file so let's open this in the vi editor and here in this configuration file we need to add this config option so let's navigate to end of the file and here we will paste at that config option now save and quit it's done next we need to change the authentication method in the mysql 8 we will see this step in a moment first let's see the next step next we need to create nginx server block basically you are creating a virtual host for php my admin you can follow this step written here for that because in the last video we have installed the valet in our system so we don't need to create virtual host manually for php my admin instead in the terminal we will run valet link now it's done if we see valet links now here we have php my admin dot test domain that is pointing to this path so let's run this in the browser get a wrong permission for configuration file for configuration file we need the permission 755 so let's run sudo chmod 755 and the configuration file name now refresh and now it is working now we can log in to this php my admin using mysql username and password before that first you need to change authentication method for mysql 8 user in mysql 8 if you want to log in root user you have to run command sudo mysql because of this you will not able to log in into the php my admin using root user so we need to change this so for that we need to use mysql native password for authentication method so to change this first you need to log in into the mysql using the sudo mysql command and then run this in the mysql shell to change the mysql native password plugin and make sure to change this password with your password i have already done that in the previous video so we can log in this so here i'll type root and password and here we are logged in if you are installing the php my admin for your production server then i will not recommend you to change authentication method for root user instead of this i will recommend you to create a new user for your mysql that is using the mysql native password plugin for authentication and use that user to log in in your php my admin let's try this as well so in the terminal first we will log in into the mysql shell because in the last video i have changed the login method for root user so now we cannot use sudo mysql to login into the mysql shell instead of this i will run mysql hyphen u then a root username and hyphen p for password now enter password and here we go now we are logged in into the mysql shell now to create a new user we will run this query so copy this and run this in the mysql shell and it is going to create a new user php my admin and its password is password next we will run this command to grant all permission to php my admin user so copy this and run this in the terminal now finally flush privileges now it's done exit now in the php my admin let's log out and now here we will log in with new user php my admin and its password and here we go we are logged in this is all in this php my admin installation personally i use table plus for handling database so let's install the table plus as well so here i will search for table plus and here i am going to click this link linux because we are going to install it for our linux system now click this linux installation button 
Now at the time of recording, there is no stable version for Linux system. Right now we have alpha release for this. So let's install it. So to install it, we need to run this command in our Ubuntu system. First we need to get the gpg key. So first I will navigate to home directory and now here run this command enter password is done. Next we need to add table plus repository. Next we need to run this update command. It has automatically updated so we can skip this. Now next run this command to install table plus. Now the table plus installation is complete. Let's open this. And here is the table plus. Now to connect to the MySQL, we need to create a new connection. So let's give our connection name. Let's say that is localhost. And in this drop down, you can see table plus supports these database drivers. Here we are going to use MySQL. So select this. And next, here we will add the database host name that is localhost and we can leave the port number and it is going to pick the mysql default port number that is 3306 next we need to add database username that is root root user password and connect and here we go we are connected to mysql database and from here you can switch to any database This is all in this lesson. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson.